Hi guys, and welcome back to Leslie Through the Looking Glass. For those of you that are new here, I am Leslie. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming to check out my channel. For my returning viewers, as always, thank you so much for your continued support. Um, today I have another fun Disney unboxing for you guys. Um, I have been waiting on this one. Um, we all know how USPS ran during the holidays, so it was a little bit delayed, but I'm sure worth the wait. I have the new Mickey Loot box. Um, this was actually one of their one-time only boxes. Um, they did a series that was all of the parks. So they had a Magic Kingdom and Epcot, uh, Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom. I believe this box is the Epcot box. Um, I also have a Magic Kingdom box coming, but I just want to show you guys this box. I did, it does come wrapped in clear plastic. I did already take that off just for the purpose of making this a little easier and I cut the tape, but I just want to show you guys how cute this is. Mickey bar and it's spinning teacup. Epcot ball down there. It's just so stinking cute. Um, and then, of course, the loot on the front matches that nice purple. So I believe, like I said, this is the Upcut box. I do have two coming, so I think this is Upcut, though. Um, and this was an A-ticket box, which is the $40 price point. Um, I do just have to cut a little bit more tape. I thought I had it all prepped and ready. Um, but for those of you that don't know, Mickey Lou is a subscription company, um, Disney boxes, and they do, like, tons of limited release, which I think is super cool. They've done like Marvel in the past. They did a Beauty and the Beast box, a Christmas box, a Halloween box, all sorts of them. Um, currently, I think they have a Little Mermaid, a Peter Pan box, and also um, if they have any left, they did a 10 box quantity of a Muppet release. Um, and they use the old ticket system that the parks used to use. Um, a ticket, B ticket, C ticket, D, and I believe E varying price points from like $40 to $300. So perfect for any price point and no shipping. That is included. So it just makes it such a great value. So let's get right into it, guys. I'm so excited. All right. As always, so this is definitely my Epcot box. Like I thought, there's an awesome Spaceship Earth ball. And it says, Leslie, we are happy to share with you a sample of some of the best things Epcot is known for. We just love Epcot so much and are glad you do too. Mickey Lou, I love that they always do. It is all handwritten, guys. They're such a thoughtful company. Um, I know for a fact that they watch some videos here and there of their subscribe, like YouTubers that do their boxes um, and send stuff that is so special and heartfelt. And I just... I can't sing the praises of this company enough. I think if you haven't already, please go check them out. I will link all of their info down below. Um, and then we have some cute, I, there you go, confetti glittery paper and the Mickey Loot sticker. I tried not to make a huge mess of that, but I did. As always, it's always a fan favorite, the glitter pouches. I love that they do that. This is pink and purple. Um, and they also individually wrap every item in this box, um, which I also think is super cool. First thing that I see right off the bat, guys, is they did an Epcot reusable bag, which is super cute. Um, I actually have a tiny version of this bag that I got from somebody else last year at some point. So super fun. Um, always great to have in the car and, you know, or to tote when you're taking things to and from. They also individually wrap each item in their boxes, so it is, like, no spoilers. You cannot tell what you're getting, um, and I think that's such a fun thing, too. So I'm going to unwrap this first thing. Oh, it is a cute little ornament. It is one of the Starbucks ornaments that they have, and it is orange. And then on the back, they have, like, oh, let me try to get this out of here for you, all of the highlights of the park. Um, I have seen the big versions of these, but this is adorable and perfect timing um, to go on my tree or to go get packed away with my tree for next year. And so cute. At the bottom here, I was just looking at this. There is a little tiny Remy. Of course, there is my favorite figment. It's super hard to tell, but figment is up there flying. And then down at the bottom on this side is a teeny tiny Ola. The detail on these are crazy because they're so tiny. So I'll set that to the side. I'm going to open this next because it is kind of a telltale when you see a candle like this, but there is some sort of mug. 
And I'm actually going to grab my scissors out again so that I'm not just, maybe, I can't even cut through this bubble wrap. Trying to not be so loud and obnoxious while I was unwrapping, but sometimes you just can't avoid it, right guys? Alright, so this one is wrapped in the lovely pink. Now, oh yep, yeah, this is part of the um, Food and Wine Festival 25th anniversary. It is a mug, but it's super cute. Like it reminds me of like the baking dishes and canisters. But there is Miss Minnie, and then Queen of Cuisine is on the inside there. That is super cute, and this is straight out of the parks, you guys. That's the other thing Mickey Loot does that is super cool. Is almost everything comes straight from the parks. Um, I have two things left. I'm just going to go with this one. No idea what either of these could be. Sometimes I have some good guesses, but... Oh my gosh. This is so fun. Oh my gosh. So, if you have not watched my videos before, um, I am a huge fan of Figment. Um, he is my favorite part of Epcot. And look at these socks, you guys. Little figment socks. I love it. Um, and then on the back, they even have like the little wings. They are so cute. And the little horns. These are adorable. I can't wait to wear these. Um, I just love figment. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, that makes me so happy. All right, guys. And I have one last item. It's very lightweight, but kind of in the shape of a cup. So I don't know what this could be. Oh, cool. Um, this is super cute. It is just a little tin, but it is a figment festival or figment color company um, from the Festival of the Arts. It is so adorable. Look at that little figment with his painting cap on. And then on the top, if I can't, oh, I did have it the right way up. I thought it was upside down. Sorry, guys. There you go. Oh my gosh. And it like looks like a little paint can. I don't know if the top comes off. Oh, it does. Oh, and there's stuff inside. Just kidding. Oh, this is fun. Oh my gosh. It's a little figment puzzle. You guys, I'm not going to take it out now because I will make a huge mess, but there's a little packet of puzzle pieces in here. I thought it was just decorative. But yeah, so the lid comes off, and it's just a little tin. This is going to go right in my background. If you haven't seen my Be Our Guest Express unboxing, I got my um, one of my Grail Jim Shores, which is Figment, who is back here. So I'm just going to scoot Cool over and put Figment up there. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys. So I'm going to take out my spoiler sheet now. All right, so this was, like I said, the A-ticket box, which was $40, and that did include shipping. Um, so the Figment socks with horns were $14.99. The Figment Color Company Paint Can Puzzle, which is this guy, was $2.99, which I feel like, well, what a great thing that is to put in these boxes for such a low price. It's super cute. Um, the Queen of Cuisine mug. Oh, it has the mini bow in the back. I don't know if I showed you guys that. And then on the bottom, too, I don't think I showed it off. But on the bottom, it shows the 25th anniversary. Um, was $19.99. The Starbucks cup ornament was $14.99. And the Epcot tote was a dollar, which I have up here. Um, bringing the box total to $53.96. So you guys, that's almost $14 over the price, and that includes shipping, so what a freaking great deal that is. Um, like I said, Mickey Lou is hands down one of my favorite box companies, if not my favorite. They are so thoughtful and kind. Their customer service is top notch. I have chatted with them several times, and they are just quality people who really want to send you the magic. So Mickey Lou, once again, you did a great box. Um, and I can't wait to see what's in the Magic Kingdom box when that one arrives, which I know they said that they were going to be resuming shipping right after Christmas. So hopefully that will be here um, in the next couple of weeks for you guys. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have, guys, today. If you haven't already, please hit can subscribe down below. I do lots of Disney content and unboxings as well as Mental Health Monday videos. 
I am so happy to be doing this with you guys and going on this journey. I am like 12 or 13 subscribers away from 100, which is my goal. So please consider if you haven't already hitting subscribe and turning on your alerts for notifications when I post new content. Um, and I will see you guys soon. Have a great weekend and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.